Environmentalists are trying to say Cargill is destroying the rainforest in order to hunt down palm oil. That's the claim from a group of protesters who locked themselves to a stairwell blocking the company's executive offices. Fox 9's Leah Bino is live at the Hennepin County Jail where protesters were bailed out just a few hours ago. Yes, and the protesters only spent a few hours total inside the jail, and many of them have spent time in other jails across the country before. For them, this is just part of the price to pay in order to prove their point. Yo! Yeah. See you later. For co-workers at Cargill Incorporated, Wednesday was a little wacky. No, no. Protesters from the Rainforest Action Network set up outside Cargill's executive offices in Minnetonka. Inside, six people chained themselves to a stairwell and blared recordings of the rainforest and chainsaws. It's kind of a, a culmination of three years of dialogue and communication without any result or any tangible evidence of progress. The Rainforest Action Network recently released a report written by their own group criticizing Cargill's palm oil production in Indonesian rainforests. The group believes methods used to collect the popular type of vegetable oil used in everything from General Mills products to soap is dangerously destructive. And they have told us that they're committed to sustainable palm oil and the reality on the ground is that they're destroying rainforests. And there's really no truth to the, the um, allegations that they're making. A spokesperson for the company disputes every claim the group has made. For everyone in the industry, we are seen as, uh, and, and among the NGOs, uh, we are seen as one of the leaders in sustainable palm production. By early afternoon, the peaceful protesters were arrested for unlawful assembly. Several are from the Twin Cities and a few from California. All of us, all of us were committed to being arrested today, and I think um, we were happy with the way it turned out. Many of the same familiar faces have protested Cargill customers in the past in the freezing home. They say this protest will not be their last. If they shape up, then maybe. But I, uh, seeing things, I, I doubt that um, they got the message today. We'll, we'll probably have to come back again. Cargill says their discussions with the group continue today, but as you heard, the protesters say they're still not satisfied. Live in downtown Minneapolis, Leah Bino, Fox 9 News.